Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Setti and uh, Grant Putnam here. Just wanted to go over uh, the irrigation uh, quote that we're sending you. Okay. Um, so in this area, over here, zone number 14, we have to relocate or cap one of the rotary heads. On this side of the driveway, we have to move all the heads that are near the driveway to the outside of these new planted trees. That's zone number 16, so relocate six rotary heads. Um, also, question for landscape architect, which my opinion is you should, looks like right now, um, between these hornbeam trees, the question is, is there gonna be lawn in between these hornbeam trees? And if so, that means we're gonna have to put mist heads in between all these little spaces because as you know, the lawn requires a higher frequency of water than the plants, so they always have to be in separate zones, okay? So, um, so that's a question. And also from my understanding, from the hornbeam trees to the edge of the driveway, um, that area is not gonna be lawn, but rather gonna be, uh, I guess, uh, gravel drainage. So again, I wanted to ask what's going on with this area, okay? Um, zone number 15, which is this area, we're gonna switch the rotaries to drip line in this area, okay? Zone number 19, uh, same thing, you're gonna switch the rotary heads in this area to drip zone, and that's gonna water all these new plants along this side. Zone number 20, switch the spray, uh, the spray mist heads to drip zone. Okay, zone number 26, uh, ex uh, extend the existing drip line zone. Okay. Um, zone number 25, which is this area here, extending existing drip zone. All right. I'm going to cap one head in this area, add a new drip line zone for this area. Um, zone number four, relocate three heads. Same thing, are we gonna be are we gonna be putting lawn in between these pockets of uh, plants? Because if so, we're gonna have to add mist heads. So that's a question. Um, relocate three heads and cap three heads in this area. Okay. Um, zone number three, we have to relocate one head and we have to add a new drip zone for in here. Okay. Add a new drip zone for the trees in the center area and then add another new drip zone for all the plantings in this area. Okay, so there's two drip line zones that cover this area. Um, that's about it. So I'm gonna shoot this over to you. And once I get some answers back from uh, Landscape Architect, then we can fine tune the quote. Um, what I would say is if you decided to have us bid on the landscape portion of the project and we can do everything in-house, then um, we could obviously work out our economies of scale or a more attractive quote on the entire project is much bigger. Um, we did about $2 million worth of landscape projects uh, last year. This year we're doing about $3 million. I'm going to send you a couple of videos of finished projects, large-scale projects that are like three, four $400,000 projects. And you can see what the finished product looks like and all the plants and the quality and whatnot. But um, this scope of project we handle uh, all the time. So last year we did about four projects this size. Uh, this year we have about four projects this size going in. So again, I would love the opportunity to quote the entire project for you if possible. Talk to you soon. Thanks.